Welcome to Limitless. Thank you guys for joining me and today I think I've lost my mind because I'm going to be trying some wooden dimple dies. Alright, I took my uh, turbo the cold side here and put a couple of beads around the outside because the only cast aluminum 90 I could find was either a two inch or a two and a half and my piping is two and a half intercooler is two and a half and this side was two inch so I had to build that up to fit a two and a half and then uh, smooth out the inside now it's not going to be perfect but it's definitely better than just a slip over the top like most people do so I uh, should be able to just line it up and then uh, hopefully weld it on well for a first try I guess it's not horrible. I'll be grinding this down most of the way as well. I don't know. See how it turns out. Like I said, first time ever doing this, so I'm pretty happy about that actually. That's more than livable. Ground this side down. Yeah. So that's the clamp for the solid intake piping, no hoses on it. So these have uh, a pair of O-rings that go in there and they seat quite nicely together. The big thing I found with these off-brand ones, the clamp will hold it together. Uh, the O-rings keep it super, super tight, but they machined the, the width in there just a little bit too big. So I think when I do my final assemblies, I haven't decided for sure, but I might try and get a really small O-ring and stretch it over top of here, or just a piece of tape, because I definitely don't want to be hearing, like even if these are tied together, I don't want to be hearing that clamp move around. So. This will be the one that's going onto here. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be a fun, fun task. I, I'm still really worried about welding these onto here. Well, I'm sure I'll know immediately if this is going to go well or not. Okay, this is going to be doable. So, I am going to have to obviously take them right apart to be able to weld this side. A uh, micro TIG torch would probably work, but it's got a max of uh, 60 amps. So, on AC, I'm thinking it's going to be 
heating up way too fast. I might only get 10, 15 seconds worth at a time. So just pull it all apart. And then, uh, then I can weld those right up. And continue on. All right, so I stayed up last night and uh, I welded the first side onto here. Um, welded it on, then chucked this up in the lathe and just used my grinder and spun it really slow just to make a nice transition. Uh, you know, I've, I've got my basic size that I need for my intake um, but I want a nice transition on these uh, for the runners so I am trying out a wooden dimple die because well I only need it once it's a custom size and after I press the first one I'm gonna have to actually notch this so that it doesn't uh, hit the, uh, the next one. So, grab the other half. So I, I tested it out. I know that it technically works, <laughs> but I don't know if it's gonna work the way that I need when I do multiples in a row. So I'm going to start off just pushing this in there and then hopefully I can center it up a little better. So the reason I made the, the holes so small is because I wanted more extension. Uh, it'll make it a little bit easier to weld on there. So now that I've got it started, Stretch well, it's a little higher on this side, but it's probably just from a warpage at this point. There you go. So most of the kits that you buy online, I mean they're 300 plus dollars for one. And for two they're specific sizes and I didn't know how much it would actually stretch the, uh, the inside of the hole. Because um, I need it to match up with the, uh, with the piping that I have. So seems to <laughs> seems to have worked anyways hopefully we can get through four of them uh, but now you'll see the next one is going not quite going to be able to work because it's hitting right on the radius of this one is stopping it here so I now have to notch out some of this Number two. It's always nice when your press starts leaking. Well, number 
number two is in. Pretty even. Nice and smooth. Go for number three. Should have tapered that just a little more so it fit right inside. Okay, number three. It is uh, definitely starting to get some wear on it. <clears throat> I could re-wax it again, uh, but I think I'm just gonna press it in my fourth one and call it a day there. So I do have a little bit of warpage this way. Should be easy enough to fix. But I would I would say yes, you can use wooden dimple dies. Now this is solid maple and definitely use something as hard or harder than that. You can 3D print them as well apparently and I do not own a 3D printer. So next best option, didn't cost me anything to try it out so might as well, hey? Next up, I've got the throttle buddies just tapped back together. They, they kind of lock in place by themselves. Uh, you don't have to bolt them together. And then I've got the top cups just set into place. Uh, now I'm not going to use O-rings yet, and I hope it doesn't bite me in the ass later. Uh, I'm hoping that I can just do it like this. So take the intake, I had to bend it back because I actually want to be able to weld it from the inside. Take the plenum side. Okay, so I have spent a couple of days working on the aluminum welding for the intake. Uh, so I got my throttle bodies welded up inside and out, ground down. Um, then you guys saw the dimple plate and I was welding the other side of the couplers on. But I'll show you the throttle bodies here. This piece. So the transitions are actually quite nice in there. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know if it's really necessary to do that, uh, uh, the dimpling there, but it's definitely not going to hurt and it helped because it took the weld away from right on the flange. So it gave me like a little bit of a, a piece of pipe basically sticking out the back. So those of you that can't tell now, um, because I went with the two and a half inch instead of the two inch, I can't fit the clamps in there. So 
what I am going to have to do is take the clamps and cut them apart and turn it into like one long one across the top and then one long one across the bottom and bolt through the middle and then hold them together with a very small small bolt or something I, I might have to extend off of each side uh, but I do have to cut the bolt off and the bolt holes right off of it because uh, they don't get close enough together here. So I got to cut that out, cut them this way, you know, weld them all up. But first I'll have to uh, media blast them off so I can do some welding on them. Yeah, so it'll have, it'll still look nice from the top. You'll be able to do one big, kind of like a billet looking thing, but I don't have the budget to build it, so I gotta make my own. Uh, so this is kind of just the start of the intake here. Go. Um, I'm also. Unfortunately, gonna have to redo this one because I changed my mind. I am gonna put the intercooler down this way on an angle and then just fold this one down to the top. And the reason for that, um, the reason for that is it gives me more room to put, uh, well, the intercooler tank can go up here then as well as the coolant tank. Uh, so they can both occupy this space. So I'll just have to redo like half of this. I'll do a Whatever it is like a 45 here and then a 40 turn this 45 up And match the two up um, Yeah, so it is coming along pretty nice I do like the way that this actually turned out Just gotta make a really nice radius here Cut this down to shape of or the size of the intercooler. So if that's going here, I will cut this to line up with that right there. And then uh, you know wherever it's actually going. This bottom one is actually gonna be bent down in there a little more too. So and pass this pipe. And then fold the top one over on top, cut it to shape as well, and then fill in the two sides. And I'm waiting on these uh, silicone O-rings, because the second, second batch of these clamps that I ordered came with uh, just a black O-ring, and they're too stiff. You actually can't slide it to, well, you can slide it together, but you damn well can't get it apart. So I ordered some silicone ones. Uh, they should be in on Monday. And then I can keep going on the clamps. But yeah, I might do a little bit of porting with the with this on here. Match it up maybe a little better, but it's, it's really, it's not bad inside of there. Give you a peek of that. Perfect matchup, but it's not bad either. I think it's, I think it's probably sitting close enough, especially for a boosted application. So I'm gonna call it an episode there. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed the wooden dimple die set. Um, I might even later on just try it on some eighth inch or maybe even some steel just to see how much it'll actually work or how how long it will last. Uh, but it did what I needed it to do and I'm really not going to need it again. I'm not doing speed rolls all over this thing. Uh, the floor is going to be like one and a half mil aluminum for the whole thing. Uh, 
firewall should be aluminum as well. Tunnel cover, all aluminum. But I don't want holes all over that stuff. I want to keep the heat in it. Um, let it all pass through the center. So, see you guys on the next one.